How you doing everyone? It's Juan Romero here from Switchwatch and today I've got an accessory review. It's a wireless keyboard sent to us by Adobe. Want to get into this one and check it out but before I do thank you to all of our existing subscribers for continuing to support our channel and to all of the new subscribers that have joined us. Welcome to Switchwatch. So I'm going to unbox this first and see the contents that you get here and then we can discuss its functionality. So this keyboard can be used for a variety of things and I assume that I'll be using it just to you know find games on the eShop quickly um, or use it on YouTube or any games that have a chat functionality. So when you open up the box you get a little instruction manual of course get the USB-C cable to charge up the actual keyboard itself. So that's really important because it means that you can fast charge this, which is great. All right, so as you can see, that's what it looks like all connected up. However, the switch itself doesn't have a USB connector. So we can't use this in handheld mode, which means we can't use this on the move. It's only going to be useful to use with you know the Nintendo Switch itself docked with the television. So some of the features of this really is just so that you can type quickly and it's quite cool I like the grip itself the only thing you know I've, I've opened it up here and I'm thinking the buttons are a little bit small and what I'd want to test out is when you're pressing these buttons how well does it actually register? So we're gonna get into that and test a few of these things out and actually see whether this is a decent enough product to recommend. Let's get into that now. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just go into the switch interface to see how quickly I can type using the keyboard that's provided within that interface. Now you can see that you know I'm pretty proficient with it. I can write quite fast. I'm searching for Smash on the eShop. I assume that most of you are going to be playing that this weekend. And let's compare how quick this method of input is, the one that you get with the Switch, compared to the actual wireless keyboard itself. Now I can type quite quickly with this keyboard however I do find that there are some issues you need to be aware of if you're thinking about purchasing this Dobe wireless keyboard. One of those negatives is definitely the keys themselves. While they do feel quite nice to press they are too close together. Now I've got large thumbs and unfortunately for me I end up pressing two buttons sometimes at the same time. Now honestly even if you've got really small fingers and thumbs you're going to find these keys quite hard to press purely because they're just too close together so to manipulate what you need to do is quite difficult now i would have thought with the amount of space that they've used on this big piece of plastic connecting the joy cons on they would have spaced them out a little bit better than they have done because they haven't made great use of the space here that is for sure also your thumbs have to travel quite a long way to get to the center of the keyboard itself so it's quite difficult to use it's not the most comfortable when typing so you know really that's two quite large negatives there and there is a third negative as well and that's sometimes that the keys don't actually register now I'm going to go into YouTube and just show you what the interface is like on that now I'm going to search for a channel that I like to watch a couple of great guys um, and it's switch up Mark and Glenn do a great job we've got a fantastic channel let's just check out a couple of their videos see what they're getting up to and uh, we'll click on one of those and see what uh, review they've made if you want to check out some alternative opinions I suggest you subscribe to them today and check them out as well because they make some quality content oh dear mm. oh. Juan are you still mucking around with those little uh, accessory videos when are we going to do our collaboration <sighs> that's weird <laughs> and Mark, uh, I'm trying to create a professional accessory video and you're in bed with your labo, mate. What is going on? Don't worry, we'll get straight onto that collaboration video because I know it's going to be a blast. But let me finish this keyboard with you, please. You're killing me, man. You're killing me. The last thing I did is I checked it out with Warframe 
and for the interface and warframe it's quite good to use you can use it to just chat without taking a long time so if you're into that game it might be something cool to use for that obviously it's got its own chat functionality in terms of using voice so you might prefer that but i'm talking about when you're just on your ship and you want to chat and stuff like that through messaging then this keyboard is quite good for that but i do feel that you know they they could improve this by quite a lot if they made another version of this you know you're talking about spending around 20 pounds or so and honestly if it does come down to half price then it might be worth picking up if you're somebody who likes a keyboard but that's up to you i've given you the benefits and you know the uh the cons to this keyboard so I'll leave that one up to you guys if you do want to purchase it then the link is in the description and uh, you can purchase it from amazon that's it from me today hope you enjoyed this video and of course enjoy all of your smash time we've made a review that you can watch um with jordan so why don't you go over there now check out his review he's done a quality job on that one and of course i'll see you again very soon on the next one take care